Yo, what's up guys? It's Austin here, or Luna. So I have a pretty interesting story time for you guys today. I think it's a pretty good one. I think you guys will enjoy it. If you do, leave a like on the video, and let's just jump right into today's story time. So today's story time topic is about an old neighbor of mine. Specifically, how she was kind of uh, creepy and obsessed with me, and a stalker. And uh, let's just jump into it. So today's story time all starts off as a normal day. I'm sitting in my room. It was 2018, and I had just moved into a new house, and I was by myself living at this house, and I was enjoying it. It was a really nice place. I was really excited to be in a new place, and it was just great, right? But little did I know my whole life would change living at this house when I met my neighbor. So I walk outside day one of living at my new house to take out my garbage, and I see my neighbor taking out her garbage as well. And me, trying to be a nice guy, being a good neighbor, I walk up to her, and I'm like, hey, my name's Austin. I'm your new neighbor. And she's like, oh, it's so nice to meet you. Like, yeah, I've been living here for like two years. It's a lovely place, lovely neighborhood. You're going to love it. And I was like, thank you so much. And she's like, yeah, so uh, what do you do? Like, she just got right into it. She wanted to know what I did for a living. And I was like, "Uh, I do YouTube, actually. Now, whenever I say this, it goes one of two ways. Either it's like, oh, that's cool. Like, tell me more. Or it's like, oh, how much money do you make? And of course, that's the approach she took. She was like, oh, like, does that pay well? Like, how well does that pay? And I awkwardly replied, and I was like, I mean, for my age, I do pretty well, yeah. And she was like, oh, that's cool, like, how much? And in my head, I'm thinking, like, damn, like, this girl is really nosy. Like, I was just trying to introduce myself and be a good neighbor, and this lady just wants to know everything about my money. So I just tell her that I can't tell her exactly how much I make because I'm not allowed to, even though that really wasn't true. I could definitely tell her, but I chose not to. And she's like, okay, I understand. And from that day forward, every time I would see this lady taking her garbage out or she would see me leaving to go somewhere, she would stop me and ask me a million questions about my money and about like what I do for a living. And I also noticed that she would start like flirting with me and shit. Like right after she found out that I was a YouTuber, every time I would see her, she'd be like, oh, you look good today. Like girls must be dying to date you. I'm like, no, they're not. Don't worry. Just like deflecting any compliment she would give me because I didn't want to deal with her trying to segue into some money conversation. So anyway, a couple weeks later, after I introduced myself to this neighbor and after I moved into this house, everything changed one day. This all starts off as a normal day. I wake up, I get out of bed, and I had some errands to run this day. I had a lot of things to do. I had to go to the store, go grocery shopping. I had to go to the mall with one of my friends. And I pretty much expected to be out for like six hours that day. Like I had a lot planned. So that's what I did. I went grocery shopping, brought all my groceries back. And then after that, I went out with my friends to the mall and went to get dinner as well. So I was out all day. I got home like maybe four or five hours later. And I came home to a very, very, very strange situation. I come home. I pull up in my driveway with my friend. And we immediately notice something. The window on my door, like the glass, is shattered. And it's open. Someone broke into my house. So after this, I immediately run into my house, I turn the lights on, and I start looking around to see if anything got stolen, and nothing was stolen. That was the weird part. Someone broke into my house, all of my things were rearranged, like there was shit all over the floor, like papers and stuff that I needed were like all over the floor, scattered across the ground, my setup was all like deconstructed, like my computer monitors were like moved, like shit just looked weird, like everything about the situation did not make sense. Everything that I owned was like rearranged, but nothing was missing. I couldn't find anything that was stolen. Like I searched through everything and I couldn't find one thing missing. Like everything that I needed that was important was still at my house. So then it hits me. I'm like, wait a minute. I have security cameras. Why don't I just look at those? Yeah, I had security cameras in my house, in my living room and in the upstairs bedrooms because I had two dogs that I still have and I wanted to keep an eye on them when I'm out of the house. So like, you know, I could just open this app on my phone and check the cameras in my house and see how my dogs are doing when I'm not home. But also they record like whenever there's significant movement, they like switch on and record whoever's moving in the room. So yeah, after I get this idea, I immediately open up the app on my phone that's linked to the security cameras and I look for any new recordings. And guess what? There's three of them. And I open up all three and I start watching them to which immediately my jaw drops. It's my fucking neighbor breaking into my house basically 
She comes upstairs in the living room, starts going through all my shit, emptying out all my drawers in my living room, going through my cabinets, like looking through papers and shit that were important to me, just a bunch of stuff. And then she goes upstairs and the camera in my bedroom recorded her going through more stuff in my bedroom. But like I said, she wasn't stealing anything, just going through my shit. And I forgot to mention my friend was next to me the whole time watching this. And he's like, wait a minute, is that your neighbor? I was like, yeah, man, it is. And me and my friend were both just shocked because she broke into my house, but she wasn't stealing a thing. Like in all the videos that I had on my phone of her, she was just going through all my stuff and then throwing it on the ground. Like she didn't put anything in her pockets, not one thing. She didn't put anything in her hands to walk out with. Like she just left everything on the ground. It was so weird. So of course, after I see this, I immediately put my phone away and I run downstairs and I go right over to my neighbor's house with my friend and I bang on her front door. And guess who answers? Her fucking husband. I didn't even know she had a husband. I thought she lived there by herself. She never told me she had anybody else living there at all. And I asked her before if she had people living with her. And she's like, no, nope, I live alone. So yeah, uh, pretty weird, right? So her husband opens the door and I was like, hey man, um, I don't know how to tell you this, but your wife broke into my house earlier. And he's like, uh, excuse me? And I was like, yeah, I'm the neighbor right next door. I just moved in. Like, I've talked to your wife a couple times when she was taking her garbage out. Like, anyway, she got some sort of obsession with me because she broke into my house today. And here's a video to prove it. And I showed him all the videos. I showed him her running around my living room, going through my stuff. I showed her in my bedroom, going through my stuff. And I told him, like, this was today. Like, there's a broken window on my door. And that's how she got in. And he's like, this, this just can't be true. Like, there's no way. And I was like, yeah, man, I'm sorry. Like, I don't know who else to talk to about this. Like, she didn't steal anything. That's the weird part. So immediately he apologizes to me and he starts begging me to not call the cops. He's like, please don't call the police. Like, we have two daughters together. If they watch their mom get walked out of here in handcuffs, it'll scar them. Like, please don't call the cops. And I was like, listen, man, I won't call the cops under a couple conditions. One, I want to know why your wife broke into my house and went through all my stuff and didn't take anything. And two... You'll have to buy me out of my lease at my house so I can move away because I don't feel safe here anymore. And he's like, done. And uh, he calls his wife down and he tells her to tell me why she did it. And guess what this woman says? She goes, I was just fascinated by you. I just want to know more about your life. Like, what kind of creepy shit is that? She broke into my house and went through my shit thinking that I wouldn't find out that it was her just to know more about me. Like, what the fuck? Just invite me over for dinner or something if you want to get to know more about me. Like, that's so creepy. So yeah, after she tells me that she was just fascinated by me and wanted to learn more about me, she apologized for breaking into my house and begged me to not call the police, just like her husband did, to which I said I wouldn't, but they needed to buy me out of my lease. And they did. Literally the next day, they hit up my landlord and paid for my lease to be broken early. And I moved out of there the next day. No joke. The next day I was out of there. And yeah. Moral of the story is, security cameras are not a bad idea, at all. But yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed this story time, I never saw that neighbor again, to this day the thought of her creeps me out, and that's pretty much that. I hope you guys enjoyed this story time, if you did, please leave a like on the video, I'd really appreciate it. Feel free to leave your story times in the comments down below, and subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys all later, peace. Cut all these ties cause they plan my demise They all snakes and I think it's been showing I got some issues, they haunting me daily I'm losing my mind and I know it